everybody. Welcome to my technique tutorial on turnarounds. And so first things first, you may be wondering what is a turnaround? Or you might have heard it maybe at a jam or something like that. And so I wanted to just give you the the overall template for the two most common turnarounds. And what they are are either kickoffs to a song, ways to start a song, or sometimes and or they come in the middle of a song where you know after a you know somebody play, sings a verse and a chorus instead of doing a full solo they'll just do a turnaround and so when we talk about a turnaround what it is is usually the last four bars of and it's a singing song generally so if I'm doing you know any kind of it's usually happening in classic country music you know things like you know, Ray Price and Mel Tillis and, you know, a lot of those, George Jones for sure, you know, um, Loretta Lynn, all that kind of thing, that era of country music. It does also occur, we see them in bluegrass as well on occasion, not as much, but as far as like 40s, 50s, 60s, and even some into the 70s country music, this is such a standard part of the song structure. And the turnarounds often fell to the fiddle player as their job. So I really feel like it's an important element when we're talking about traditional American, especially singing song kind of music, it's an important element for you to have a handle on. And it's not that tough to do. So I just thought, let's lay it out. Let's, you know, let's show you what happens. So what a turnaround does is usually follows the chord structure of those last four bars of a verse or chorus, right? So you've heard these before. I know you know what these are, you know, this kind of thing. You're cheating hard, right? That kind of thing, you've heard that bum bum bum, you know, it starts out like that. And the great Tommy Jackson, the the legendary country fiddler, part of the Nashville A-team who recorded on all those things. He pretty much invented that style, but almost immediately every fiddle player within earshot started playing, you know, those, those turnarounds the way that he did. And so we have two main turnarounds that we deal with. And in Nashville, we have, you know, we've got some lingo and they refer to the chord progression. So the main two turnarounds you would deal with are what we call the 1511 and the 4511. 